Nation, what is up? We're back with another video on Justice League, the animated series. And today I'm checking out Season 1, Episode 19, titled Legends Part 2. Last episode, we saw Jon Stewart, Flash, Hot Girl, and Martian Manhunter be sent to another universe where they're also set to the past. And this universe is basically like the Silver Age. And Sean Stewart got some me as heroes. He read comics when he grew up. And he always idolized and read about these comics about the Justice Guild. These are his heroes. And he finally got to meet them. And we saw Sean Stewart get to work with the Justice Guild against the Injustice Guild. We got a lot of action sequences, a lot of puns, a lot of Silver Age lines like halts in the name of justice. And at the end of the episode, Hot Girl, she got hit into like a grave site, and then she looked at some gravestones, and it's basically like the names of the Justice Guild heroes she just met. So something's up, something is not right, and I'm excited to find out what is up, like what is up with this universe, what actually happened to the Justice Guild, and what are they hiding? But yeah, guys, I'm excited to get this episode. Your latest reaction to Justice League starts now. Dude, I'm excited. Like, last episode was so good. I'm looking forward to see how they're going to wrap up this storyline. This intro is just so good. Like, I, this intro never gets old. The animation and just the music it just gets me hyped. Alright, Legends Part 2. Yeah. It's true. I saw the grave. Hmm. But it doesn't make any sense. Look, I don't know who that is, but the real Green Guardsman is gone. Yeah, oh. And so are the rest mm -hmm. of them. So that's not the real uh, Justice Guild. No. I don't believe it. Mm. John Stewart is in denial. He seemed to take this quite personally. Mm -hmm. I'll bring him back. Wait here. I would take it personally too if I found out my heroes are actually frauds, like, or they're dead, and the ones I've been working with aren't the true. Heroes. That's why I lead the league in steel. Hmm. Don't be so fast to toot your own horn, sportsman. Hmm. Sportsman. Okay, that's his name. Ah, and he got the airplane. Then it appears hmm. we have a hat trick. That leaves Doctor Blizzard out in the hmm. cold. Not quite. Doctor Blizzard brought back Wally and Black Siren. I'd say this entitles me to victory in our nefarious contest. Mm -hmm. Don't you agree? Bravo! I like the name though, Doctor Blizzard. It's nothing, my friends. What are you gonna do now, Doc? Mm -hmm. Turn us into snow cones? <laughs> oh no, I have bigger plans than that. Much bigger plans. What is that? Hmm. Hmm. Still no word. I'm afraid not. Maybe this is it. Hello? I like how they have the telephone and they had like a thing over it to protect it. They're escaping by blimp. Only they would commit such a heinous act. And on a Sunday. On a Sunday. The Injustice Guild's on the move. Then we should be too. Yeah, let's go. Justice prevail. Let justice prevail. Dude, Hot Girl is suspicious. Like, I I don't blame her and John, him being in denial, like, it makes sense. Like yeah, the green the guardsmen, all of them. You were right. Mm. They're gone. All of them. Then who are those people back at the mansion? Yeah, who? Robots? Mm. Clones? It'd be interesting if they're robots. Wait, th that actually make know. a lot of sense. But How I they act? Hmm. 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 
I wonder how they died. Like, did they die sacrificing themselves, or...? Stop. Hmm. What can I do you for, folks? Hmm. What can you tell us about those graves on the hill? Sorry, I've got to finish my room. Ah, uh, yeah, it's something's like definitely lady. up. He's hiding something. I you, you never stopped. Mm. has been kind of dead. When's the last time you actually sold any ice cream? Mm. Please. Never. No something's up with this seaboard Who? city. I can't say anymore. Have a nice day. Mm. That ice and, uh, cream man is Curious suspicious. Dude, Martian Manager doesn't know who he's actually working. Wait, they had to stop a blimp? Not so fast, mm. Guardsman. Look. Uh... Holy hostages. <laughs> Holy hostages. <laughs> I just love those lines. Like, it's so Silver Age and so ridiculous. Dude. Dude. Save him, save him. Nice. Oh, we got this sportsman guy. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, that is dope. He's just riding the motorcycle into the elevator. <laughs> He goes up the stairs, yeah. Yeah, I'd probably say Catman is my favorite out of all the Justice Guild. He's just awesome. Nice. Don't bother welcoming me aboard. Get him! Come on, Catman. And they're out trying to figure well, out I what's actually I up. Bone up on my history. Hmm. Hello? Hmm. I don't think anyone is there. Blank. Hmm. What? Wait. So all the books are blank. Dude, what is up with this universe? Like, all it is so mysterious. Ah. Mm. Yeah, something is very weird the about this. Right. The lights don't work. Why am I not surprised? What? Oh, it was just a wall. <laughs> hmm. Ladies first. Hmm. Oh. A subway station. A messed up subway station. Must have been an earthquake or something. Hmm. No, these are battle scars. Battle scars. Wait. You're right. And look at the date. Hmm. Forty years ago. Forty the same years day ago. The Justice Guild comic. Hmm. Peace talks breakdown. So, is this world stuck in the past, or like, what is? It's interesting. Like, I'm invested. I really hey, want to find boy. out. Catman. Mm, nice, Catman. I'm surprised Sportsman didn't fly. <laughs> Dude, he's taking him out like just one hit. Elbow. Yeah. Let's go, streak. I'll have you free in a jiffy. No, you'll get free. Wanna bet? Let's go, Wally. And functional. Watch it. Oh. Dang, dude, wizard's about to die. Uh, oh, now you got him, nice. 
There we go. Oh, yeah. She don't want to fall into that. Come on, Mr. T. Yeah. Mm hmm. Actually, hold up. I just thought something. Mr. T was the only one who stuck around, like back at the Justice Guild headquarters. And he knows about the universe hop. Is he the only one actually still alive, where all the other ones are just like dead? And maybe he's been making like. Maybe he made like robots of his friends? Like, I, I don't know. Like. It's just interesting. I feel like it's very suspicious that he was the only one that stuck back. And now he showed up, but... This kid is awesome. Indeed, the city's in your debt, mm -hmm. Just doing our job, Sergeant. Take them away. The Injustice Guild is defeated. Hmm. Is it just me, or are those two the only cops in this town? Uh, yeah, that, that's suspicious as well. There's only two cops in the entire town. And then, at the last second, Green Guardsman flies in and... Mmm, yeah. Some friends. It's a good thing the Justice Guild was around to save hmm. me. They're not the Justice Guild. Mm. Say what? You heard me. They are not the Justice Guild. How can you say that? Yeah. This is a serious accusation, young man. Explain mm. yourself. No. You explain this. Mm. Justice Guild Justice killed. Guild killed in battle. So they're killed in a, a war. Hoax. Some kind of sick joke. It's no joke. The real street green guardsman Tom mm. Turbine, they're all dead. Okay. So Tom Turbine or Mr. C, he's actually dead as well. I don't know. It sounds fantastic, but Hello? Justice Guild, we need your help. Mm. A monster's tearing up me. A monster? We're on our way, Sergeant. We're needed downtown. Hmm. Nope. We're not done here. But Seaboard City needs us. Haven't you noticed that nothing here makes sense? Library books with mm -hmm. things, ice cream trucks that never stop. Dangerous. Everything not is off. Gets too close to the truth. Yeah. The truth that your world is an illusion. A living memory of a civilization destroyed 40 mm -hmm. years ago when the Justice Guild gave their lives for this earth. That's why they stopped publishing the comic book in our world. Mm -hmm. No more Justice Guild. And the Justice Guild died. Figure things out. Nuns and dynamite. If what you say is true, who or what is creating this illusion? Yeah. I suggest you ask Ray. Ah, it's, Ray. A, it's the boy. It's the boy. The boy is. Because you are the source. Mm, he's the one causing trouble, or, or maybe he's being used. I don't. No! Whoa! Whoa! Who is this guy? Ugh. You ruined everything. Mm, yeah, dang. Dude, who is this guy? His face is all messed up. Uh, wait, so this kid, he grew up just like John Stewart reading the comics and he was sad when the chest skill died? No. I uh, do that robot looks dope. Yeah, it's all illusion. Ooh. Dang, that, 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 that little guy is creepy. It's over, Ray. Mm. It's been over before. I changed. No, that. Ray. Uh. Whoa, dude, that's an interesting power. He just creates illusions that could be true. Mm. Come on, dude. How are they supposed to stop him? Like, oh my, he's just coming, sword, John. No. Oh. Dude, he's like, he's like a little arm and then like one long arm. Like he's very. Sing, March to Mancer. Oh. Dude, Ray is super strong. Like really strong. Mm. 
Oh, that that got it hurts. Dude, but I really want to know like the background of Ray. Like this guy, he's just uh, proportionate. He looks messed up, but he can create illusions. Like, what's up with him? Come on, Green Guardsmen. Wait, if what they said is true, defeating Ray could destroy this reality and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's worth it, though. They gotta sacrifice themselves. We died once to save this earth, and we can do it again. Yeah, that gave me chills. Oh, that's so awesome. So cool. You'll be sorry you messed things up. Ooh, nice. Let's go. Sick him down. What is this? Seaboard City. Prime Let's go, play. Mr. T. <laughs> you can't. I made you. Mm, no. Let justice prevail. Justice prevail. Nice. Sick him down. Ooh. Dude, I swear, this Ray guy is super powerful. Like, he just gets more powerful every second. Mm. Uh, he's de uh, no, he's not defeated. Let's go, streak. Nice, yeah, they're gonna defeat him. I like how they're all just punching him. I don't even know if they're even using their power as much anymore. They're just punching the bubble. Um, everything goes back to normal. Hmm. Dang. Huh. That is a dope shot, and then they're gone. Hmm. Sad. Dude, it's just a wrecked city. A city that got destroyed in war. And it was all illusion, but who is Ray? He couldn't maintain the illusion. Mm. The strain was too great. But how did he get like that? Yeah. The radioactive fallout from the nuclear war mutated his DNA, uh. giving him the psychic ability to mold this world to his choosing. That so is really sad. The heroes he worshipped as a child. Huh. Who could blame him? Yeah, who can blame him? Listen. Wait, is the ice cream truck still going? Hmm. Hmm. Who are all these people? Like, is it still illusion or? It's like waking up from a dream. Hmm. I'm sorry. We destroyed your world. No, we did that. Hmm. But now all that's left is this nightmare. Yeah. Being stuck in an ice cream truck for 40 years. That's a nightmare. Mm hmm. Compared to that, rebuilding our world will be a piece of cake. Hmm. They're gonna rebuild Seaboard City. So what now? How are we supposed to get home? I have an idea. Mm. Come on. Dude, that is a creative story. Like, the fact that there's a war, nuclear fallout, this one guy, or maybe a kid actually, got disproportionate, he got powers, and he decided to make an illusion of his superheroes. Like, that is some good writing. Huh. Is it actually like a teleporter? What good is that gonna do? He was never able to find a way to power it. True. But maybe I can. Mm -hmm. He can. With the Green Lantern ring. Mm -hmm. It's time to go back to their universe. I don't know how long I can hold it. Go! Go, go! Nice. Mm. 
by Justice Guild. Hmm. You should have been there. It was so hmm. freaky. Those cornball villains with their bad puns. And the <laughs> yeah, they had some bad puns for that? sure. But Wally you know, gave bad puns one. back. Where's GL? Hmm. And she's looking out, remembering, reminiscing. Are you okay? Hmm. It's stupid, really. Why should I feel like this? I mean, they weren't even real. Yeah. They gave their lives for us. Mm -hmm. That's real enough for me. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Dude, the John Stewart's and Hot Girl relationship is so good. Like, the story is respectfully dedicated to the memory of Gardner F. Fox. Huh. I'm about to look up that guy's name, but and I'll talk about it in the review portion. But man. This episode somehow managed to top the previous one. This is probably my favorite episode in this entire series to date. So I looked up Gardner at Fox, and yeah, he's an old uh, DC writer that was born in 1911 and died in 1986. He basically made a bunch of the Silver Age comics. And out of a, a lot of his comics, I'm surprised I didn't like, I know his name, I did not know his name. Like, I've heard of it before, but I didn't know as much about him but I actually have so many comics. And one that I wanted to show was this one. Like, guys, look at this. Just Leave America Archives Edition. I actually found this at a shop in, a comic book shop in California called Alakazam Comics. They had a lot of Silver Age comics. It was really awesome. And guys, actually, check out my new comic book reviews that I do every week. I always have a back haul pool section in that video where I show the comics I have in print in this room. The ones I have in stock. And uh, yeah, this is one of the ones. Just Sleep America Archives Edition. A lot of the stories in here are written by Gardner Fox. He's involved. And yeah, he's just a good, a cool, like he's really awesome. Like he's made some of the best characters. Made some of the best Silver Age stories at DC with the Justice League. Like it makes so much sense now. Just knowing about that, finding out about that. It made the storyline like 10 times better. Like, the storyline was already amazing. My favorite arc in this series thus far. But them taking it to Gardner Fox? That is so cool. Like, man. And yeah, guys, like this comic right here, it's so cool. It has so many. Like, you literally have the very first um, appearance of the Justice League here where they go against like Star Row. And then you have different Silver Age stories, um, like this one where they're on like a slave ship in space, like, it's very interesting. And just knowing about that, having this copy, like when I saw that, I looked it up, and literally the first thing that came up was this, and I'm like, I actually have that, like, I actually have this. And, it, I, man, it, it just hits me, guys, like that, that ending, just Gardner Fox. This show really knows how to dedicate to writers and just make some of the best content for DC. This is by far some of the best DC content of all time. Like this this arc in general. If you're a DC fan, you gotta watch this arc. Like I recommend it to anyone. Like it has yes, it has fun Silver Age stuff. Like you have the Justice Guild against the Injustice Guild. You got John Stewart's him, me as heroes, but them not turning out to be real. And then we find out the truth that the Justice Guild actually die in a war, in a battle, a nuclear fallouts. They sacrificed themselves before. In this episode, they sacrificed themselves again, and they die in front of Jon Stewart. And just a streak going like, see ya. It was an emotional moment. And this was a great arc for Jon Stewart in general. Like, he, he's an awesome character. I really like the Green Lancer in background, but just him, he read comics growing up and him, me as heroes, and then finding out the truth and just seeing this one person that he got to kind of relate to. Like, Ray was just, I, I think he was either a guy or a kid, some person who was caught in the nuclear fallouts. They were disproportioned. They got these powers. They can make illusions. And instead of moving on, he made an entire illusion of the heroes he grew up with. 
And Jon Stewart can relate to that, but he still had to stop that. He had to bring out the truth. And all those people who are stuck in that nightmare, you could call it, for four years, like the one guy who was driving an ice cream, um, mach not machine, an ice cream truck for so long and not knowing what's happening. The writing in this episode was so strong. Like, the first half of the episode was good. A lot of Silver Age Jack shit, a lot of good character moments with Wally. Wally got a lot of funny moments in this entire arc. But then once the reveal showed up, like Jon Stewart and Hot Girl looking for things, trying to figure out the mystery, then find like blank books, find like an empty, well, one room that just leads to a wall. Like all the build up to the reveal was so well done. And then when it finally came, it hits. It's one of the best reveals I've seen in just media in general, like in shows and movies. Like I really like the reveal. It wasn't, it was worth it. It was worth all the build-up in the previous episode, and I love it. Like, Ray is an interesting villain, if you can call him a villain. He just wanted an illusion of his heroes. Like, if you look at him, he's disproportioned. He was hit by a nuclear fallout. Like, I get, I feel bad for Ray. I get where he's coming from, and Jon Stewart could get that, too. Like, he understood that. And then by the time they made it back to the Watchtower, and Jon Stewart just looking out into space and hot girl comforting him like the hot girl and Jon Stewart relationship is so strong in the show it, it actually fits really well their chemistry is awesome and I look forward to see where that goes as the show goes on so yeah guys this is by far my favorite episode in the entire series just dedicated to Gardner Fox the Silver Age and not only having a fun story, having the Justice Skill go up against the Injustice Skill, a lot of puns, a lot of funny lines like, Halt in the name of justice. That's obviously my favorite one. And the reveal, like it wasn't just a fun Silver Age storyline. It was also one that just, it, it man, I, I'm, I'm at a loss of words. It's just that good. You, you know a storyline is that good when you could talk about it for so long or maybe you have a loss of words, like just thinking about it, it's like, Man, this is a masterpiece storyline. That's why I'm going to give this episode a 10 out of 10. It's a masterpiece. I highly recommend it to any comic book fan in general. Like, yeah, it's great for DC fans, but also just other comic book fans. If you just want a really good story that is dedicated to comic book fans and the writers like Gardner Fox, then this is the one. Man. This is one of the best arcs I've watched in all DC animated shows. Like, it, it's just that good. But, yeah, you guys, some of your thoughts that down below. I know, I, I got a little emotional watching. Like, it, there's certain moments that hit me, but some of your thoughts down below. What do you think about the Justice Guild? What do you think about Gardner Fox, him as a writer? What do you think about the Silver Age? Like, just leave all your comments down below. There's so much to talk about. And we can talk about it in the comments. Like, I'll reply, you guys. I really want to know your thoughts on this entire arc. And yeah, if you guys like the video, give big thumbs up. And show, make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next Justice League reaction and review. And yeah, thanks for watching. And peace out.